Welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be going book shopping. So I have no idea what kind of books I want to get but I do know I want some more books on my shelf because just because so i want some new books on my shelf and i have absolutely no idea what kind of books i'm looking for what kind of books I'm, i want and i'm a mood reader so i guess when i go to the bookstore we're just gonna see what i grab i'm not gonna grab a lot of books maybe like four or five and i kind of want to fill my tbr card and i know that it's like girl why are you trying to fill your tbr card and my card is empty okay and that can be a good thing and a bad thing because i'm a mood reader so I like to have like plenty of options on my cart to see like what I'm in the mood to read. And I will show you guys what my cart is looking like because it's kind of empty. She's empty, okay? But I was like, why not film a bookstore vlog to see what I'm going to grab? Um, I was like, let me film this vlog because I think it'll be fun for me to go book shopping and stuff and to grab like some new reads. And I was like... Every now and then, I'll make like a let's go book shopping vlog and I'll go to like different stores to buy like different books. So today's store we're going to go to is Target. And we're going to go to Target because one, it's a Starbucks and Target. Two, all of the books are literally like 20% off. Three, I just love going to Target because I'm a girl. And four, because I have other stuff I have to grab. I literally have no idea what books I want to read, but we're going to find that out when we get to Target. This is what my book cart is currently looking like. She's empty. And these are the books that I'm going to go get, that I'm going to get to ASAP. These are the books that I'm going to get to eventually because they're like, well, some of these books are a series. And I'm currently in the middle of reading a series, so those books are going to get to after I get through these books. And then at the bottom shelf, these books are books I literally have no idea if I'm going to get to or not. But it's fine. It's fine. I just, I need some new books like ASAP. So let's go book shopping, y'all. So I'm obsessed with this coat because literally I wear this coat now every single video, but she's cute though. It's so cold out here. I need to put my lip gloss on because my lips are starting to get chapped. And also, I feel like Target is like literally an event. It is not an errand for girls. <laughs> like, seriously. Target is nothing to be played with. I'll say I'll go in there for literally like one thing and literally come out with maybe like 10 things. Like I'm going to today. I already know I'm not just going there for books. I am going in there to get other stuff, which is ridiculous. But y'all, I really don't know what I want to read quite yet. Or like what I'm in the mood to read. I just know I want to pick up some new books, maybe like three or four. It's really sad now that I literally go book shopping maybe like Maybe like once every two weeks, which isn't bad, but the amount of times I go in stores and go in the book section, I have to force myself to not buy any books because I'm like, I have to get through the books that I already have and it's just fucking insane.
So I just left Target. It is so windy outside where I live. It's windy and cold and literally my nose is running. So if I sniffle, then that's why. But I think my Target trip was successful in finding books in there. I literally had no idea what I wanted to get when I went in there. I really just went with the vibe. I didn't even read. Honestly, y'all, I didn't even... <laughs> I didn't even read the back of the books. I just bought the books based on like how popular they are now. And I feel like some of these books, I am so late to the game, but it's fine. Um, I'm gonna talk more about the books when I get home, but for now, I'm about to go get me some food, take a little quick food break, and then we'll talk more about the books, about what I got and stuff like that. So yeah, but y'all, my total and Target had me literally choking on my spit. Like, <laughs> books are so expensive, but honestly, it's so worth it to have it, especially if that's like your favorite um, downtime and hobby. Finally back home. I'm gonna show you all the books that I got, and we're gonna talk about it per. These are all the books that I got. So the first book I got is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros, and this book is super popular. I am so late to this game, y'all, but I know she just came out with the second book, Iron Flame, and I really wanted a fa fantasy book. They didn't have, like, a lot of books connected to it, like a series. I just wanted something, like, if I read this book, and then I can just read the second book, and that'll be it until she comes out with, like, the third book in, like, I don't know, maybe two, three years, because I'm currently reading a series, um, the Crave series right now. And if y'all have not read that series yet, y'all really do need to read the first three books. It is so freaking good. I have to get the fourth book and read that book, but I'm a little burnt out from that series, so I took a break from it. But I'm happy I finally picked up this book. So the second book I want to talk about is called This Is Where It Ends by Marique Naj. I don't want to butcher the name, but this is the book. Now, I haven't really heard too much about this book, although I know when I read the back, it's about like a school shooting, and I'm, I'm guessing it's like a really sad book. So, I've been into a lot of sad books lately, but I picked this up. Um, I really want to read this just to see like what this is about. I kind of got, I kind of bought like a little of everything in kind of every genre, just a little bit. And then the third book I bought is called Lucy Folly, The Guest List. And I've heard so many great things about this author. And y'all know how I feel about mysteries and my thrillers. Like y'all know that has to be one of my favorite genres ever is thriller, like thriller mystery books. And I've heard she is a really good um, author. So is Alice Feely. Feely? Feely? But I've heard um, she's a really good why can I talk? I've heard Alice Finley is a really good um, mystery thriller author as well. So I need to pick up one of her books. I heard Rock, Paper, Scissors is a really good one. So I'm definitely going to pick that up uh, soon. But I'm excited to get into this. And then they had the Paris apartment. I was going to pick that one up. But I was like, this one is about a wedding. So I was more interested in reading this one. And then the fourth book I picked up is Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher. And I'm currently reading The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. I think if y'all will see that in another video, if this video doesn't come out before the one I'm currently filming as well, then y'all will probably know I'm reading her book right now. But she read well, she writes billionaire romance, like steamy books and like workplace romance and stuff like that so i'm excited to read love redesigned now i think this is the first one she just came out with i think she's coming out with the second one soon not now but pretty sure she's coming out with the second one soon and honestly the fine print i'm reading it so far it is so freaking good and it's making me love forced proximity workplace romance like grumpy sunshine tropes so I'm happy I picked this book up because I am so excited to get into reading this one as well. And look at the cover, y'all. The cover is so pretty. And then the fourth, the final and fourth book I picked up um, is called Six of Crows by Lee Bordugo. And I've heard really great things about this book as well. So I have not seen the Shadow and Bone trilogy on Netflix. I've watched like a trailer of it but I don't know if it's like my type of TV show to read but I am gonna uh, read this soon and I'm thinking it's the second book it's called the crooked kingdom 
but i'm excited to read this wait oh i thought it was a series too i was about to say but that's just shadow and bone but these are all of the books i got from target and honestly I'm not mad about it. I didn't really pick up any romance books because I think I've been burnt out after reading A Thousand Boy Kisses, y'all. Well, you're going to see that. Hopefully, the vlog video comes up before this, but if not, I just spoiled it. But anyways, um, after reading A Thousand Boy Kisses and Love and Other Words, I really had like broke my heart reading those books, especially A Thousand Boy Kisses. If y'all have not read that, y'all need to immediately because that book is so good. It will literally make you cry and just be sad for literally like maybe a week or a day. I don't know. But yeah. Anyways, that's all guys. I'm so excited to put this on my 2BR shelf. Matter of fact, let me, um, let's put this on my 2BR because it wouldn't be a video without putting this on my 2BR. That's the whole point of me buying these books to kind of fill it up. So... It's gonna get there, I promise. It's gonna get there. Now I'm going to end the video for a girl. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay up there when I post. And let me know what you guys want to see in my next videos. Or let me guys, let me just know like what you guys want to see more of on my channel. I'm kind of excited to start posting about books. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> They're gonna be pretty good, but you know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you later, bestie. I just wanna tell